Hello friends, this video on Hello Alkanes and Hello Arenes part 17 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Start with chemical properties of Hello Alkanes. Before that, let's understand some of the basic concepts. So the bond strength of CF is max and CI is least. Why? Because it says fluorine is this much size, fluorine is little bigger, bromine is all the more big, iodine is all the more bigger as you go down the group. Size increase. So this bond strength is V. That means that means this is more reactive. The strength is weak, reactive. That means I can easily leave, right? Weakest bond strength, the most reactive. Iodine can easily leave. So iodine is the best leaving group among all the four halogens. Correct. So if you want to find whether a particular compound is haloalkane or not, what you can do is you can do this. Blinston test. What is done in this? In this, you burn the compound in a loop of copper wire and the compound will turn green. If it turns green, it has haloalkane. So it's a very good test for haloalkanes. So leave that uh, determination of haloalkane. We'll talk about the reaction types of haloalkane. We have nucleophilic substitution reaction. We have two types of substitution reaction, SN2 and SN1. We have elimination reaction. We have reaction with metals also. So let's start with the nucleophilic substitution reaction. So as I told, in nucleophilic substitution reaction, there is something called nucleophile which attacks and substitutes, right? Anything, maybe mostly halogens in the reactant and the reactant is normally haloalkane. So haloalkane will have something called X that is halogen. So nucleophile will come attack this and remove this X and replace it. Why? Because this haloalkane will have slightly negative charge and this carbon will have slightly positive charge. Correct? Because of the high electronegativity of halogens. This is the typical example. I have a nucleophile. I have a CX bond, this X has slightly negative charge, carbon has slightly positive charge. This nucleophile will come and attack this carbon and this X will come out. And this will form a bond with carbon. This is a typical nucleophilic substitution reaction because you are substituting a halogen with a nucleophile. Right? And why it is called nucleophilic? As I told, the attack is initiated by, initiated by a nucleophile. It is a nucleophile which initiates the attack and the leaving group is halide ion. This is a halide ion. Correct. So we'll see this chart. It is uh, we have Rx a uh, halo haloalkane and these are my nucleophile which attacks and this is my product. This is my product and these are my nucleophile for nucleophilic substitution reaction. So OH minus we generally get from NaOH or KOH that is the source of NOH. H2O is water. RO minus generally we get from NaOR dash. I minus you can get from sodium iodide or potassium iodide. NS3 you will directly you get RNH2 you directly can get CN minus you can get from KCN, right? Similarly, NO2 you can get from KNO2. And uh, what left? Hydrogen. This is generally we get from LiAlH4, right? So these are my sources actually, whatever I wrote in red. And these are my nucleophiles. So when Rx reacts with OH minus, OH minus replace X and you get ROH. Similarly, when Rx reacts with water, you get ROH again. Rx reacts with I minus, I minus will replace X becomes Ri. So now we'll talk about MBN nucleophiles. See, MBN nucleophiles are special nucleophiles that has two nucleophilic sites. Two nucleophilic sites from where they can attack. through which they attack. 
they have two sides. For example, I'll give you an example. Example NO minus, right? So if you see this guy can attack from nitrogen. This is a lower pair of electron and oxygen. But it has a negative charge. So it can attack from nitrogen and oxygen, both, right? And if it attacks from uh, nitrogen, it will form nitroalkane. And if it attracts from oxygen, it will form nitrile. For example, this will form R. This is what it will form. It attacks from nitrogen, right? That is nothing but nitroalkane. It attracts from oxygen, it will form RO and blue. Correct? So that will be nothing but alkyl nitride. So they can attack from two sides. Another example can be I have CN minus. Right? So if you draw the resulting structure of this, it is nothing but CN minus. So this can attack from both sides. It can attack from carbon, it can attack from nitrogen as well. Right? So MBN nucleophiles are the one which has two centers for uh, two nucleophilic sites and they can attack from either of the sites. Let's take one example on ambient nucleophiles. The question says that hello alkanes react with KCN to form alkyl cyanides as a main product. But AGCN forms isocyanides as a cheap product. Explain. So let me write the reaction first. It is says that I have some hello alkane Rx. When it reacts with KCN, it forms alkyl cyanide, that is RCN. But the same Rx, when it reacts with AgCN, it forms RNC. Why? See, you should note that KCN is ionic. K plus CN minus is ionic. Right? So that, that means CN minus is free because KCN will give you K plus and CN minus. The similar way NaCl gives Na plus and Cl minus, right? So now attack takes place through carbon. Why? Attack is from carbon. Why? Because carbon-carbon bond is strong, right? Carbon-carbon bond is more stable. But in case of AgCN, right? It is not having liberty to form Ag plus and Cn minus. Why? Because it is covalent. It is covalent. There is no liberty. That means this carbon is not free to attack. Since carbon is not free to attack, nitrogen attacks. Right? Because nitrogen is free to donate the lone pair. And thus, you get isocyanide. Hope you understand. Right in AgCN, this is covalent. So my carbon is not free to attack. So nitrogen attacks and forms isocyanide. In case of KCN, it's ionic. So CN is free to attack. Carbon is free to attack. So it attacks from carbon. And carbon carbon bond is also strong. So it adds to the effect and it forms alkyl cyanides. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests. Get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.